it becomes muscle memory after you do it a bunch of times. So to start out with, it's just heel up, stop and sit, pitch my bumper, take the lead off, send it off, and then just get them back. And tone is how I usually get them back. If they want to run off, I come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. If we get a dog that hangs, if we get a dog that hangs up on us. The best thing for us to do is for all of us will cue this. We're just go the other way. He's got the bumper and he goes, come on, let's go play. Nope, come on, let's go, Lindy. Come on, come on. And we turn and we walk away. And his reaction, if our recall is good, yeah. which we've been working on with reverse heel and all that stuff, when we get a good recall and we start recall plays in and they go, I got to go. I got to come with them. And when they come, timing wise, I reward it and I turn around and they go, good, good, come on. And I don't mind getting right down and having them come into me. Get real welcoming to them. Okay? So we'll all step back and we'll be ready to move if we need to. That's us being prepared. sight and then you're back to your lead beautiful so a couple things that stood out was when he when he came back in I think there was a moment of yes he's here now what do I do because you got a bumper you got to you're trying to get a hold of him and make sure he stays we're trying to get a command of sit in and all that stuff that's where hold will clear this all up because okay. the hold gets them to come in and just perch and sit so it eliminates a lot of these balls that you're trying to juggle what I, what I would do is if I had a flat collar, I'd switch it right now. Yeah. And then I'd leave the leash on when okay. the dog goes out. Because when the dog comes back in, I might be able to get a hold of the leash yep. easier than the collar. Right. And the problem with the slip chain is, is if we step on, it creates the snap. Yeah, and I don't really want the snap on this. Yeah. I really don't mind the idea of the steadiness of the pressure to the neck. He doesn't have to go up there and walk in. But, so, that might help. So this time, send it with the lead yet. I liked how you went nice and short. A lot of times, most time, first time people do this, they take it and they pitch it 30 yards. And they just make it extremely more difficult than it needs to be. So baby steps building off of that. So do that again, come back here, heel back up. I think we're gonna get some rain here in the valley. Yeah. Don't unhook it. Just leave it right on. Get it back. That's it. That's it. Good. Get, get a hold of that lead. Good. Good. You're all right. You're all right. Good. Good. Now, bring him back in. Bumper fell out. It's all right. Get a hold of that lead. So, that was good. Yeah. Don't be... I don't know that he's going to take off. Yeah. I think you sense he is. That's okay. Get him back and bring him right in like this. You're going to set Good. You're a good boy. So when he gets in, the thing I want to do is just get a hold of this. Okay. Get him in and just reach in and get a hold of this. And then if he needs a reminder of, hey, I got you. I got you. Good. That's good. That's good. Because he really doesn't need the excitement once he's back to you. Right. That creates a little bit of a, of a, yeah. a distraction. Right. So um, do that same thing. And this time... Because what, what's going to happen here now to Natalie is when we start getting into these, he broke a little bit and you could see you, were, you weren't quite ready to send him and he yeah. went. He decided yeah. it's time to go and right. there was really nothing to do you could do for that. Let's do this. I'm going to use this, which is, this is where, this is where, put that on there. This is where a steady tab comes in and it's kind of nice. So what we can do with this, do that. what we can do with this is as we bring them up, sit, sit, you get a hold of this, you line them out, and when you're ready to send them, you just drop it. Okay. As opposed, so it's less for him to trip on. But if he breaks on, if you line him like this and he breaks, I got him still. Okay. 
just make sure you got a good hold and now you got them and so you'll be able to what we don't want to do Natalie is we don't want to work so hard on steadying our dogs up then get into this and just let it all fizzle because you'll have a tendency to erode everything you worked on in steadiness by doing these this is why we just do this early on to get retrieved now he's retrieving so let's stop these let's not do these anymore let's do a trailing memory okay. so we're going to take the next step so now you could clip this lead back on to this when you heal him out yep. drop the bumper tell him no okay. do a reverse turn heal him back line him back up and when you get back to here now you just quick clip off line up and send so combine your heel work into your trailing memory and now what we're doing is we're not compromising your steadiness That's good. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Don't, don't get, go pick it up. Pick it up. You pick it up. So here's where here's where a better spot would help because you wouldn't have the ability to do that. Yeah. But what you, what you what I want you to learn too is when you jump yeah. out to lunge at him, what was his response? Lunge more. Lunge more and spit it out and go. Wow, he maybe is chasing me with something in my mouth. Yeah. And that's real hard to break. Yeah. I don't want to get in the habit of any dog having something in their mouth and me coming at them and them getting away because they're going to go with it. way more fun. Yeah. Way more fun. Now, have them sit remote, okay. walk out, pitch the bumper. Okay. Now this, for this one, with where you're at with them, I would have them sitting, yep. traffic cop stop, yep. I back up, yep. pitch the bumper over my shoulder. Okay. okay. Actually, let's not, let's do this. Let's switch with Ellie. Let's have you do Ellie because I don't want it. I don't want to form a habit now yeah. of running off. Yeah. So what I would do is now recognize this. Now when you get home, you find a heifer barn yeah. or something that gives you a channel where there's something behind your back that they can't get past, and there's something on the sides that prevents him from getting away. And just get out and back, out and back, out and back, and form the habit of straight out, straight back. Okay. So let's swap. Let's switch. Uh, good work. Now. Jonah, I'm going to put you on the spot. You're going to handle, have to handle Indy. Right. And then what we'll do is um, go over by your dad. You handle Indy. And then, Dan, if you're all right with it, I'm going to have him hold Indy. Yep. And then I'm going to have you do the sight memory with Ellie. Okay. And then I'm going to have Jonah come and do it with Ellie. Walk out. Get out there, make a little funny noise. Pitch a bumper. Watch her so she doesn't break. If she does, ah, ah. And you come back and you rearrange and you line and slip the lead off and you line her up and you send her. And then when she goes out and comes back, she's going to try to take advantage of you because you're new. So she's going to try to run by you and you're going to go, no, 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 hold, hold. And you're going to change your tone so that she goes, oh, he, let, he knows this game too. Hold. You'll get her to square up to you, and then when you want to take it from her, you'll say dead. So heal her up to the line and have her sit. There. Now, and I like how you're doing it. You're making sure she trusts you, and you trust her, and there's just no room for error there. You gotta work on your. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was perfect. I like to give them a little audible. Yeah. It's like a bird flushing. Now get her back. Yep. There you go. Get her back. Reminder to hold. 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 Yeah. Good. Now, something that's really interesting. Do you have a whistle? If you have one, this is the time to have it in. Okay. 
just to get them back. But the other thing is, even with Ellie, so get her to sit for you. Sit. Even with Ellie, as she came back in, I saw Dan get in the athletic stance because you, you're out of habit. You're just going, this sucker might go on me. I'm gonna. Have. So I want when you, when this is Natalie, this is something that's important for you too. Body language stuff. When you go up to a stranger, and I'm like this, pretty cool, very comfortable, right? Like we could we could have a conversation. Hey Dan, how you doing? I, it, his reaction right now is perfect. You, you giggle and you're a little uncomfortable. Yeah, <laughs> my well, wife, no, my I, wife laughs when you. But, like, oh. but I do it. I do yeah. it as soon as you start talking about it. Oh, hey, if I'm doing athletic stance to a stranger, they're not. They're gonna think it's kind of weird. Right, yeah. right. And you're in. It, so, it's gonna put you on edge a little bit. Yeah. And it, for me, it, like, you walk into a bar. Bars are really interesting places. Late at night, and you got groups of guys, and it's interesting to watch dynamics of packs. Because there's a lot of alpha going on, and so when when you sense things, I had a rough crowd I hung out with back in the day. When you sense things, you get on edge because you go, "Be ready, this, things might have to happen, and I have to be ready for it, or you pay the price." You know. So she's looking at you coming in, and I'm like this, and she's going, "I'm so uncomfortable right now. I don't know what to do. Where are we going? What's happening? Something's gonna happen here." And so what I want is. My goal is to have her come in nice and calm and cool and deliver well. And so give her it back, you know, reflect it back to her and she'll give it back to you. So next time when she comes in, hold, hold, good. And I want you just to be real, real like relaxed. Okay. Nice. And see, cause it's, and, it, and all of this is just, by doing it enough times it becomes natural. It's yeah. reflex. It's the old man talking about how it's reflex. Tell her dead till you got her. There you go. Dead. Now dead. Good. Excellent. Excellent. And, and as you develop more comfort with her, you'll be, you'll realize I'm not in such a hurry to get it out of her mouth. When you do it with Indy to start out with, don't be in a hurry to get it out. Okay. Get them to understand you're going to share it with them. I like it when they come in and they hold. Hold. That's it. Because they're very proud of it. And I think it's important for them to go, I did it, Dad. I did it. I did it. And let them share it a little bit and go, you know what? You are good little petting of the chest and sometimes we test that just like we did with hold we go in to take it and I say hold yep. oh you are listening you're, you're the audible dead does mean something don't say dead if you're not there take it because if she says dead and she spits it and hits the ground ah, that's not what I wanted Jonah swap places with your dad I'm gonna back up and do an insurance plan because I don't think Ellie needs to be on lead but with a new person I'm gonna make sure. So Jonah, see how I put that lead on and she instantly goes, swings around into position. So Jonah, your hands are here. You're gonna heal her out, put that in the bag, but have it ready so that when you walk out and you get to a spot, I'm gonna have you do a trailing move. Heal her out, take the, drop it, say no, heal, turn back, heal to this spot, turn back around, take the thing off of her neck, line her up and send her. And then when she comes back in, we'll remind her to hold. A lot of stuff, right? I mean, that's a lot of steps. It's your birthday. You can do it. Come on over. Okay, you take a, you take a hold of her on this side of her. So she'll always heal on your left side. So she'll 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 slide in there. Okay, so you see that line? There you go. Heal her out. Loose lead. You can let your hand down. There you go. Now stop. Stop. Pull your bumper out. Just drop it in front of you. Say no, heal. There. She knew it was coming. That's why we're gonna use a dog like that to help. They they help us. Now spin back around. 
there, slip it off of her. Now, there, exactly. Now be, be patient. Reach your right hand up above her nose and line, point at that and send her on her name. What's her name again? Ellie. There. Now get her back to you with your name. Come on, come on, come on. Hold. Tell her hold. Hold. Don't reach out yet. Just have her hold. To you. Sit. 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 Ellie. Sit. There. Now dead. Tell her dead. Say dead. Dead. And take it away. Excellent. Now I want you to do that again because the second time it's going to feel better. First time is just kind of working through the kinks. That was real nice. Loose lead. Right about there. There you go. There. You line her like an old English field trial champion. Ellie. Say it again. Ellie. There. She wasn't sure. So re just let her know that it was right. Now hold. 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 And get her to sit. 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 Change your tone. Be sit. serious. By him changing his tone a little bit made a huge difference because the, the first few times he asked her, she said, no, thank you. <laughs> and then he told her and she responded. So that, that's, the, that's the value of having tone. And at times, my tone really gets a little growly. If they really deserve it, ah, 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 ah. sit, sit. So her body changes when my tone changes. Now the reason I'm so whispery. Stop. Is because when I really need it and I get ah, 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 hey, I get something. But if I'm hey all the time and I need something out of them. What's that? Totally. I mean I there have been times when my dogs are at a distance and blatantly just not listening and I Ellie! She responds. Now everybody here probably went, holy crap, Ellie's in it. You know, wow. And no one even saw what happened or anything, but everyone, all they did was hear something. And I bet you everyone that flashed through their mind, if they were paying attention, you know, some of these people might not have even heard it because they're so focused on what they got going on in front of them right now, they might not, what do you mean? I didn't even hear it. But if they did hear it, I bet you their first reaction was, he's pretty hot. Because they didn't, haven't heard that very much this weekend.